Parallel bridges that are triggered by the level of the gate and signal can be regarded as a hybrid between a buffer and a register. When there is an unit impulse on this strobe input, the register transmits input data signals. When the strobe signal equals zero, the register goes into the storage mode for the latest of the input signal missing values. In standard series, level triggered registers are represented not as widely as edge triggered registers. For example, a 4 bit TM7 register and 8 bit IR22 register. TM7 chip consists of four flip flops. Gate and inputs are connected in pairs, that is, we are speaking about two two digit latch registers. IR22 register is different from TM7 as it has outputs with three states and its all eight bits are controlled by gate and signal C. Like all registers with three output states, IR22 has a high load carrying capacity. Registers triggered by gate and signal level may be used for memorizing an input code for a specified time period and for the rest of the time the output register code must repeat the input code. Gate and signal C in this case should be negative during the entire memorizing time. The input register code will be memorized when the signal C has a negative edge. In some cases, registers of this type can successfully replace edge triggered registers. For example, this change is possible when the input code needs to be memorized at signal C until the next signal C arrives. In this case, signal C must be a short positive pulse and it must begin after the start of the code and end before the end of the code. At the leading edge of signal C, the register goes to the mode of input code transmission and at the trailing edge to the storage mode. Therefore, the recorded code will appear at the register output at the positive edge of signal C. That is exactly in the same way as with the, an edge triggered register. However, an edge triggered register cannot always be replaced by a level triggered register. Some circuits just cannot work with the latch register, even at very short input signal C. And there are quite a lot of such circuits that generally do not permit the use of latch registers. That is why their use is very limited and the choice of chips in standard series is not too large.